Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Courtney Bunting. Well, the recovery of a submerged vehicle in a Washington Creek could be connected to the disappearance of three men more than 40 years ago. Search crews this afternoon recovered the rear axle of a vehicle from Jack's Creek, and they now plan to pump water out to get better access to what's left on the creek bed. Jalen Holloway is live from the scene in Washington with more. Jaylen yeah, Courtney, as you can see, crews have started the process of pumping out as much water as possible here at Jack's Creek. As you can see, the pump is behind me with hopes that the submerged vehicle possibly linked to three missing men from the 1980s will reveal itself. Washington Police Chief Phil Rawlinson says that the Sydney dive team is searching the creek for a possible vehicle. The vehicle's rear axle was brought up around 1 p.m. today, and now Rawlinson says the plan is to pump water out of the pool area so they can get a better view to the vehicle. City manager Jonathan Russell says that a YouTuber named Jason Serrata recently made the discovery of a possible vehicle in the water using a boogie board with a sonar attached. I think we have identified that it is a car. Um, but again, uh, the visibility is low and they're just kind of working through that to see what the condition of the vehicle is um, and to make a determination of the best way to uh, bring, it, bring it to the surface. Serrata told us that he has been in touch with family members of the three missing men from the early 1980s that led him to design a sonar device that could check all areas where boats couldn't get to. Serrata says his images that you see here appear to show a vehicle upside down at about 11 feet of water that has been there for a long, long time. Now, Chief Rawlinson says that the process of pumping out this water here at Jack's Creek will take a long time. He said it could take up to about 10 hours. Now, I will have more coming up at six. But for now in Washington, Jalen Holloway, WITN News. All right, thanks, Jalen. And the chief also says residents in that area should expect to hear noises throughout the night as work progresses.